There are many different ways of joining two yarns in crochet. I'm showing the one I prefer to use because it's quick and you have no yarn ends to weave in. You just cut the ends after you're done. This works in any crochet stitch, but I'm showing it in double crochet. That's in American terms. So now I'm in a situation where my yarn is coming to an end and I need to join it to the next ball of yarn. What I'll do, I'll crochet on until I'll have something in the region of 15 centimeters or 6 inches of it left. So I'll see how much more I can do. I'll make a double crochet, another one, and now I have this much left. So I'll join it now. So here's the new yarn. And what I'll do, I'll crisscross them and uh, twist them so that they stay together in the middle, like that. And then what I'll do, I'll continue crocheting using both strands of this folded over yarn. I may hold on to this start a bit so it doesn't escape. And I'll just make a normal double crochet here using both strands of the yarn. And I will see that the join comes quite quickly into the stitch. So whenever it gets here, I just pull it through and continue normally. And uh, then I'll do another stitch using still the two strands of the yarn, or at least half a stitch. And uh, after I've done some, I can just drop the other one away and continue crocheting normally. So this is basically all there is to it. This is something you can't do if you have a very thick yarn, then it gets too thick. In that case, you would need to split the yarn. But with most ordinary yarns, then what you simply do afterwards, you cut these off and uh, you don't need to use a needle to pass anything through. This is easier to do when the old yarn and the new one are the same color, but it can also be used if you need to change color at a specific spot. Then you just have to calculate a bit how much you need of the yarn so that the change of the color comes to the right spot. This is especially useful with various kinds of scrap yarn projects or where it doesn't matter exactly where the color changes. And I'm adding a link to one of my other videos that shows a project like that. But this is all for today.